Alright guys, this is Mithril back with another Fallout in Vegas unique item guide video and today I'm here in the Old World Blues at DLC at Big Mountain and so I'm just outside Higgs Village and what you want to do is go inside jump down, go to this house right here, house number 00 go up, no hold on, go upstairs and it should be up here right on top of this terminal or maybe it fell somewhere near it it does that sometimes the hollow tape for the giant tarantula sonic emitter and so yeah now i'm going to cut and come back when i'm on my other character and we will test it out all right so now i'm on my other character and the item we are checking out today is the sonic emitter tarantula and it's purple instead of orange, yellow, blue, you know, the wavelength thing. And then the blast is purple, as you guys can see. So other than that, there's really no visual difference. Because it's literally all the same, except for this part and the blast. So yeah, let me try and get a good angle here. Something that shows off the color. Come on. Sure, something like this, I guess. Try and make that more of the middle. All right, so let me read off the stats for you guys here. So you need a energy weapon skill of 75, a strength of two, its damage per attack is 60, its damage per projectile is 60, its DPS is 62.1, its DPS on reload is 49.3, its critical damage is 30, and its crit multiplier is times 1. Now its attacks per second is 1, and to use this weapon in VATS it's going to cost you 30 AP. It shoots 1 projectile, and its spread is 0.1. So its effect is you get plus 50 damage against robots outside Big Mountain, and then you get plus 20 damage against big mountain robots and power armor, excluding NCR power armor. And then its critical effect is you get two points of burn damage for five seconds. Now, that alone doesn't sound the greatest. However, there is a chance. I don't know the percentage, but I know there is a chance that if you do get a crit with this weapon, it can instantly kill an enemy. Yeah, uh, it's like... Um, Mayroon's Razor from the Elder Scroll series, kind of. Alright, the ammo type this weapon uses is the Energy Cell. It is 3 ammo per shot, it is 8 shots to reload, and its ammo capacity is 24. Its reload time is 2 seconds, it weighs 2 pounds, its value is 3500, its HP is 100, and the perks that affect this weapon are the Laser Commander, I know it doesn't say that on the card, but it does affect this weapon. Pyromaniac, Bloody Mess, Lord Death, and Thought You Died. So Laser Commander, you get this at level 22 as long as you have 90 in energy weapons, and it gives you plus 15% damage and 10% chance to critically hit with any laser weapon. Pyromaniac, you get this at level 12 as long as you have 60 in explosives, and it gives you plus 50% damage with fire-based weapons. Bloody Mess gives you plus 5% damage with all weapons and enemies can explode upon death. Lord Death, at rank 3, gives you an extra 4% damage to all enemies. And thought you died, you get this from the Lonesome Road DLC. And it gives you plus 10% damage, plus 10 HP for every 100 karma points. Your karma is reset to neutral, and then you are immune to critical hits. Okay. Now I'm going to put up like a graph that compares all of the sonic emitters. When I, uh, you know, as I'm walking over to the uh, enemies we're going to face today. So hopefully you guys should see that up right now. Alright, so these are our enemies for today, the Legendary Deathclaw and then the Giant Robo Scorpion. So this guy is level 50. Don't know his level, but yeah, we are testing it out on these guys today. And I think I'm only going to get the plus 20 damage against this guy since he is part of Big Mountain. Alright, so these are the normal rounds. Okay, and as you guys can see, we got the critical effect, which killed him instantly. All 
right, now these are the bulk rounds. Okay, as you guys can see, we are getting the burn damage because he is smoking. Now, if you guys are using sonic emitters, I would personally use the bulk rounds because they do less damage, but you get more uh, item condition. So these are the max charge rounds. Very powerful, very powerful. These are the overcharged rounds. All right, now these are the optimized rounds. Okay, that was all on the legendary death claw, a living target. Now we'll try it on a robotic target. So once again, we are starting at the normal rounds. And as you guys can see, we were able to get the critical effect uh, because he basically had all of his life left. And yeah. Now I got to find a part that can actually give me the ID. I think it's this part. Maybe. Uh, where's a part that I could use to resurrect? This part, maybe? No, that's part of the legendary death claw. Hmm. I may have to just look at the code again. All right, I guess that's what I got to do. Player. All right, now these are the bulk rounds. All right, that took, oh, hold on, let me resurrect him before uh, he explodes. All right, now these are the maxed charge rounds. Okay, and once again, we got the critical effect of, you know, it dying instantly. Okay, now these are the overcharge rounds. Okay, we got it once more. Now these are the optimized rounds. And we got it once again. So yeah, this weapon can be very, very... I don't want to say broken because... As you guys can see, it does have a little bit of a charge. The range on it isn't that great. Because I don't even hit the house. Now I hit the house. And then the critical effect obviously doesn't always happen when you get a crit. So I'm almost reluctant to say it's broken, but it's very strong. I'll put it that way. It's very, very strong. It's probably the best Sonic emitter out of all of them because it can insta-kill. So yeah, there you go guys. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe because it will help out my channel. And I will appreciate it like always. And then I hope you guys look forward to my upcoming series, which is going to be like a max damage slash max uh, potential damage, I guess would be the correct word on all of the weapons I did for this unique uh, item guide series. Yeah, so look forward to that. So I hope to see you guys next time.